I'm going to be showing you the five best methods which you can apply on your Windows PC in order to increase your FPS here in Fortnite in 2023. I'm going to show you the best additional Windows settings, the best tweaks, and as well a GPU tweak which is going to change the game for you. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and now let's get to this topic. And as a quick extra tip guys, if you're struggling with ping and all of your favorite games, you can actually try out the GR Booster for absolutely free guys. The link is going to be in the description. You can basically select one of your favorite competitive games, just simply connect to it. And the GR Booster is going to make sure that you have the lowest ping possible, guys. You can see I have only 10 milliseconds latency, which is insane. It's going to show you directly the connection between your PC and the router. And then finally also your router and the actual game server. GR Booster is continuously going to look for the best server in your near, guys, to provide you with the least amount of ping. And as mentioned, try it out for absolutely free with the link in the description. And the first tool which we're going to be using in today's video, guys, is Park Control. You can better find it on my official website, guys. And once we're in here, we can basically make sure to optimize our current CPU for the best performance in Fortnite. But what we need in order to actually make it work guys is the following comment for the ultimate performance mode in windows 10 or windows 11 you can by the way find the comment in the description guys you just simply gotta copy it go into your windows search bar and type in as cmd right click onto it and run it as an administrator then you're gonna paste the following comment in there and press enter for it to apply then we're gonna go back in here type in that real quick energy and here in park control we should now find the ultimate performance mode then just simply make sure to enable it and now you gotta copy all of my settings parking ac you kind of keep on disabled parking dc on disabled as well frequency scaling ac on disabled and frequency scaling DC on enabled. Then all you gotta do is make sure to hit apply real quick and click under OK. And now we basically make sure that none of our cores are actually parked on our Windows PC, which is gonna ensure us better performance when it comes down to Fortnite, especially since it's a super CPU heavy game. And now additionally, you just simply gotta click under power options real quick and make sure that the ultimate performance mode is as well enabled because this is exactly where we applied all of the changes now. In this next step now guys, we're going to check out Quick Memory Test OK, which is by the way also my official website, you can find it from there super easily and what it does basically is it's going to check your whole entire RAM, your reading and writing speed and basically any potential issues. So therefore all you got to do is launch the program real quick on your PC, select loops, put it to at least two, preferably even more guys, but two is more than enough and then real quick under start the test and then you can see it's checking now for the writing speed, it's checking for the reading speed and basically if there's any invalid bytes on it and you can see now guys by the way the checks are been done and now once the tool is done guys we can see we have bad bytes zero loops two invalid bytes total of zero so therefore we can know that our ram is working a hundred percent as it should be there's no potential issues or errors or whatsoever which could somehow slow down our pc or decrease our performance then this next step guys we're going to check out the msi afterburner which you can by the way also find on my official website and don't be worried we're not actually going to overclock our gpu with here because i know a ton of people are worried that they may be going to mess up their gpu or something like that but what we want to do the only thing is put our power limit all the way to the right side you can actually see now adjust master gpu power limit if supported by graphics card and most of the gpus nowadays aren't even set automatically to the highest power limit possible so therefore there's always room for improvements and you can still actually squeeze out a little bit more performance out of it so what you want to do is go under power limit and drag it all the way to the right side and you can see actually from 100 percent i could get it to 106. keep in mind the temperature limit might also actually increase so what you want to do is also adjust the fan speed if you actually need additional cooling but for me right now it's still running at 41 degrees only so therefore that's totally fine and then you gotta apply the setting real quick here and once you're done with that, close it and restart your PC. And now next up what you want to do guys is go into your Windows search bar and type in that background applications and then you can find already background apps, system settings and once we're in here guys you can now see all the background apps of Windows and usually this one here is enabled and you can basically see all the unnecessary services which are running in the background 24 7 something like Spotify, Smartphone Link, the calculator, Paint 3D and basically all of these services which are running in the background 24 7 and most of the people anyways don't utilize them so therefore what you want to make sure is actually real quick swap it off here and then you're already good to go. These are all super auto demanding, so therefore make sure to disable all of them. And in the next step guys, actually you can fully disable the Windows Search Index here. And I gotta tell you guys, this is super resource hungry actually the server, since it's running 24 seven in the background. And for a ton of people, this can actually give a huge performance increase if you actually disable it. So therefore what I want you to do is search up services on the application, right click onto it and run it as an administrator. And once it's launched up, you're gonna press W on your keyboard until you can find the Windows processes. And in here it should be Windows Search. Search. This is exactly what we're looking for. Right click onto it and go into properties and there you're gonna put it first of all under stop here to make sure that it's actually turned off and then you're gonna put the startup type to disabled guys and hit apply and okay. Then restart your PC and try it for yourself if you see a difference guys but for so many people this can actually increase the performance by so much. If you for whatever reason want it back guys you can also go back in here and just simply switch again the startup type to automatic hit apply and okay and you're already good to go if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the two videos which are right now your on screen as well